There are three terms that get used all the time in talking about metadata, and that those are elements, values, and records. And I want to be absolutely clear about what those mean because it can get a little ambiguous. So remember, in the last unit when we were talking about description, um, I said that when you describe something, you're making a statement about it. And a controlled vocabulary is a way of controlling the terms that you use, that you can use, in that statement. Right? So say we have a documentary about, you know, whatever, the Columbia River Gorge. Right? According to this controlled vocabulary, we would not say that the documentary was about the Columbia Gorge. We would say that it is about the Columbia River Gorge. Right? So this controlled vocabulary says, you know, thou shalt use this term in the description of this object. A controlled vocabulary is a way of controlling the terms that you are allowed to use in a statement. Right? A metadata schema is larger than that. A metadata schema is a way of controlling the kinds of statements that you can even make in the first place. So in Dublin Core, for example, you can say what language something is in. But what you can't say is what character set or what font to print that language in, right? Those are statements you simply cannot make. There is no font element in Dublin Core, right? So Dublin Core says there are 15 kinds of statements that you can make. You can say who the creator is of something, what the title of something is, a date associated with that something, what the subject of that something is, et cetera, et cetera, right? 15 kinds of statements, and those are the only kinds of statements that you can make using Dublin Core. Right, so what is an element? An element is a category. It is a category of statement that you are allowed to make about a thing using a metadata schema. The value, then, is the data, the information that you provide in that statement. And the element value pair is the totality of the statement that you actually make. Right? So for example, the Mona Lisa, right? The element is creator. The value is Leonardo da Vinci. The statement is the creator is Leonardo da Vinci. Element, title, value, Mona Lisa, or whatever the title is in whatever your language is. Right? I tend to think of this like Mad Libs, right? Mad Libs is a children's game in the United States, I don't know how widespread Mad Libs are worldwide, um, so forgive me if you've never seen this before, but um, this is a game for two players, and uh, the way this works is I say, give me an adjective, and you say, you know, fluorescent, right? I say, give me another adjective, and you say, wrinkly, whatever. and. This goes on until I reach the end of this story, and then I read the story back. You know, a vacation is when you take a trip to some fluorescent place, etc., etc., and hilarity ensues. Right. I shouldn't say it like that. I actually really loved Mad Libs as a kid. Um, metadata elements and values are forms like Mad Libs, or like every form you've ever seen in your life, a form that you fill out when you go to the doctor, a form that you fill out to apply for a job, whatever, right? There's a blank, and there's data that you fill in in the blank, right? On that note, I may slip and use the word field sometimes, um, and I apologize in advance for that because the word field is, I think, less precise here. And what I mean essentially is element. I mean the field that is the blank that you fill in. 
right? Field is a term from databases that is roughly synonymous, but not exact. And I think element is a better term when we're talking about metadata schemas. But all of this raises the question, how are values decided, right? And we talked about this already a bit in the previous video when uh, we were looking at the 15 elements of Dublin Core, right? Title, for example, titles can be anything at all, right? So there is no recommendation in Dublin Core for how to fill in title. You need to leave it wide open. On the other hand, right, date, there is a recommended best practice and it says such as this particular way of encoding dates, right? There is not a requirement here, but there is a recommendation for how to structure dates. Some people feel very strongly about their favorite controlled vocabulary, right? So how are values decided? Well, that Dublin Core allows you to create values any way you want, right? There are recommendations, but there are no requirements in Dublin Core, right? So Dublin Core recommends that you use this particular encoding scheme for date, but they're not gonna require it. And remember that simplicity is one of the overarching goals of Dublin Core. So the more requirements you have, the less simple it is to, to apply Dublin Core. We have elements and we have values. Right. Elements are the blank and values are the data that is assigned to that blank. And then the set of element value pairs makes up a larger descriptive record. And you can have as many element value pairs as you want in a metadata record because remember, while there are only 15 elements, each one is repeatable as many times as you need. So we have elements, we have values, and the set of element value pairs makes up the record.